Oh, 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 we're the Yo Ho Ho, it's Hello Toaster! Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario Blind! In the last video, we met up with my lovely and the Star Spirit. No, we didn't meet up with my lovely, but we did meet the Star Spirit. In this episode, it's finally time I taught. I answered all the requests and read the back of the bulletin board. Toad Town Underground News! Did you hear the gossip about Princess Peach? I can't write it down here because it's unbelievable! A gossip loving toad. I've also been told there's graffiti on the back of this building. Let's go for a look. Okay, I can't access it like that. Maybe if I go the other way, then... No, is there any way for me to change the camera? I don't know, I'm still a noob at this game. But anywho, I'm sure to progress we need to go in here. Merlin is out! Well, now what to do? Try again. Why do you keep on knocking? I'm telling you he's out! Ow! And Goombario was just about to go in. What the? Why is someone sleeping in front of my house? Wait a minute, that face seems very familiar to me. It's me, Mario. Oh, maybe, no, yes, it must be, you're Mario. I've been waiting for you. You should have come earlier. I tried. Anyway, let's come in and Goombario will be the last one in. Yeah, it's like when the dog tries to get in the house first, like, nope, you're going last now, mate. Where to begin? My name is Merlin. I am a wizard. When I was reading the stars the other day, an oracle came to me. What I discovered is very important, and it concerns you. But before I tell you about it, there are things of which I must speak. It is a very long story, but I will try to shorten it. Where should I start? It was in the old days. One of my ancestors was up on Shooting Star Summit, and as usual, one day it happens, and the agreement appearing eyes, and he faced the fact you raise me up so I can stand on summit. I believe in heart and uh, that was a bloody good fish I had that day. And then we went to the pier again and she fell in the water and then we got her out and... Oh, that's all that matters. Oh, hey, Mario, were you listening to me? Um, yes. Oh, all right. So anyway, that is why I'm able to help you. If you get lost during your adventure, you can come to me. I can predict the path, and you should for a small price. Right now, your main goal must be to save Princess Peach as quick as is humanly possible. But, according to my second sight, your path must first take you to the great fortress of the Koopa Brothers. Woohoo! Koopa Brothers look great. To reach the Koopa Brothers fortress, head east on the road in front of the Toad House. Do you want to waste money? Let's talk to him again. If I, um, okay. Make haste to the east. Okay, that's just his normal dialogue. Now read my fortune. Ah, Mario, do you want me to predict the path you must take? It should cost five coins. Excellent. Now relax while I read what your future holds. And it's party time! Disco, 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 talk about the disco, 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 yeah! Oh, and we got stars and everything. Right, read the fortune now, Mr. Fortune Man, Merlon. Not Merlo, but Merlon. I've learned the difference now. Merlovely is easy enough to distinguish. And we get a star! Yay! You must journey to the Koopa Brothers' borders. You can travel there by following pleasant... Oh, pleasant path sounds so nice! Yeah, I think that was just repeat dialogue in the end. I'll see in editing. But for now, are those gangster Coopers out of the way? I haven't talked to Goombario in a while. This is the central area of Toad Town. Yeah, I've read that before. Oh, please. Wow, this is quite a lot of advice. Rolf. Well, he sounds nice, but can you move now? You don't want to go out there. It's way too dangerous. Go to the Cooper Brothers Fortress might be a mistake. Definitely, don't go. Most of all, though, you shouldn't go ask old man Merlin for help. That would be really bad news for I mean you. Don't even think about it. Okay, so... Perhaps I should have been paying more attention. Am I going to have to get Merlin to read my fortune again? 
because I'm kind of lost what to do. Um, unless I can hammer you! No. I'll have to see Merlin again. See you later. Come again? Strange toads blocking the east side of Toad Town. That shouldn't be. That's ridiculous. Such a thing has never been heard of. Never! I'll get to the bottom of this. Follow me over there. I'll see what's going on. Okay, so I actually did need to go back there, and it's not just a case of me not reading something properly. So, the wizard's gonna blast some magic into the faces of the dark toads. Let's see some explosions. Are these the strange toads you are talking about? Yes, they are. I told you, we can't let you pass. Take off! Hmm, you aren't toads, are you? I thought it was a bit suspicious. Um, we don't know what you are talking about. Yeah, what gives? Any skinny one. We're just cute, ordinary toads hanging out. Reveal your true selves! It's the Cooper Brothers! Oh, I'm so happy to meet you! Just as I thought, you are the Cooper Brothers! How did you guess it was us? We were perfectly disguised! Shucks! Black! Yellow! Green! We retreat! For now... Alright, we can go and chase them! I can't wait to see them again! Oh boy, the Cooper... Oh, he's not gone quite yet. Mario, there's one part of your fortune I haven't revealed! To get to the Cooper Brothers Fortress, you'll need help from a blue-shelled Cooper! This is a strange portrait. In Cooper Village, you might find something that will clear it up. I must return home now. See you later, wizard. Sounds like we're gonna get one of the partners that the intro scene spoiled for me. It's only just chapter one. This is episode eight of the Let's Play, and I've just now reached chapter one. Oh dear, do I? Yeah, that's an enemy, so I'll jump on it. New enemy to fight. You know, I haven't had a battle in so long. Oh, well, I'll just use a regular jump on the Koopa Trooper. If I knock it into its shell, will that be able to attack the Goomba? Perhaps not, but let's take out this Koopa Trooper. Oh, Goombario's got timing as well. Yeah, I'll take out... I mean, I'll tackle the Koopa Trooper. Well, I suppose I might as well do it now. Seeing as it's vulnerable and can't attack me, so Goomba! You! Die now. I, as I said, I won't do that with my voice all of the time. But yeah, tackle the Koopa Trooper. This is a Koopa Trooper. Everyone knows Koopa Troopers. They're Bowser's followers. Max HP 4, etc. If you can flip them over, their defense power will fall to zero and it will be much easier for you to defeat him. You can flip them with a power block or a jump attack. Now, why is this one still alive? I thought I'd done more than four damage by now. It's only got one hit point left. But I must have been bluffing up the timing. I didn't even do any damage. Well, that explains it, I guess. But now the Koopa Trooper is out of it, and I even dealt an extra hit. Just to, ha just to add insult to injury. Anyway, that's a battle over. And that took a little bit too long for my tastes. But, oh well. Is there any way I can get into that background? Have I fought a paratrooper before? I think I have. So you don't need to see this. That was remarkably easy. Even though I still flub... Flub... flub flubber. That's it. I messed up the damage timing. But, oh well, I've learned that I need to go earlier. Spike Goomba! Out of my way. He got out of my way. Ooh, flowers! And coins. I'm a little bit low on health. I think I've got 8 out of 10. What on earth is this? The Dizzy Attack. Delivers a blow that makes an enemy dizzy and unable to move. Does it actually do damage as well? Not quite sure. Do these have anything in them? Of course they don't. What's that? A Fright Jar. Makes a scary spirit appear and chases some enemies away. Okay, fair enough. So I can't see a way to get into the background, so let's just keep on going. Fences! Everyone loves a good fence. What would be a garden without a fence? We got a power block. I'll save that for a more important battle. Koopa Troopa! Uh, let's hammer you for a change. In fact, 
I've only used the hammer so far in a battle I cut out, so let's show off the new enemies again. Cooper Trooper's gonna get a mashing! Let's get hammered! Okay, that only did one damage, so he's got a lot of survival left in him. But he's halfway done. Ah, he's of course he's flipped over. Ah, I keep forgetting about the resistance timing. Uh, let's go for this then. That did it. Okay, one Cooper Trooper left. Let's jump on it and provide some repetitive commentary as I go. I messed up the timing once again. Don't tell me he's gonna get up. Phew. Thought he was getting up. No, 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 no. Um, anyway, and head bonk to finish things off early. A button press, too early. Fine then, he's gonna survive one more time. Let's flatten him. Flatten you like all Cooper Troopers in the world. Except for the good ones that are far nicer. Including the ones in the town we're gonna be coming up to soon. Guess that's why these ones have spikes on their neck. Uh, what do I do here? Ah, of course, a switch. So, uh, I, I kind of makes me feel bad that they don't actually flatten the switch. But over the bridge anyway. Over the bridge we go. That's got a Goomba on top of it. Time to finish it. One more attack and I will be out of business. So, I hope Cooper Village is coming soon. Otherwise, I'll have to use an actual healing item. But anyways, I defeated two enemies. So, hopefully the town's coming up next. That'll be the end of the episode. I know not that much has actually happened. Nor has it been that funny, per se. Uh, there's a Koopa. I'll, I guess I'll just ignore it for now. It can't climb ledges, can it? Oh, please tell me it can't climb ledges. This block, oh, this block actually does have something in it. And yet, of course, it's the one I can't hit. There we go. Got some coins. I'll be sure to spend it on magazines for the sakes of the free gift. Right, there's two different directions I can go. What's this? Phew, I was worried it was going to be an enemy. Because, as I've said, I'm in a perilous state. This bridge doesn't look safe whatsoever. Coins, is it a trap? Of course it's a trap! Oh, how much damage is that going to do? Right, desperately need to heal. Now, which is the best item in this case? Okay, regular mushroom. Let's a go. Eat my hand. Now I can't punch anything. Oh dear, I'm so illogical sometimes. Head punk the Koopa Troopa for hitting me! Did no damage. Brilliant. And defense timing. I just can't get the timing right for that. Fine then, maybe we should use an item to make this go faster. Pole block could go! There, two damage. Now there's not much more left to do. Head bonk! Boom! That was satisfying, and I don't know why my voice is still like this, so I'll give it a rest. I'm just going to do a little bit more exploring and I should be at Koopa Village soon. What's that thing? Is it another sheep? I ah, enemies! Enemies! I can't jump that high. I Fine, I will fight you! Oh, by the way, I'm about to die. There we go. Game over. Because I'm too stubborn to use a healing item. So... Now what do I do? First game over of the Let's Play? Um, how far back am I gonna go? Level 02... Um, I'm back here where I last saved. So, basically... Are the Black Toads or the Cooper Brothers still the- Ah, stop talking to me! If they are still there, I'm basically going to call it... Right, in this episode, we did absolutely nothing. In the next episode, we'll go to Cooper Village. See you then.